All right, let's see uh, for this one. First, uh, calculate the volume that's need, needed to make um, this. So this is simply um, M1 V1 times M2 V2. M1 V1, it's equal to M2 V2. So 50 milliliters, 0 0.0500 molar, and then a 0.1 molar to uh, V1. So that will be a point. No, oh, that's not point. Uh, what is it? 500 times, oh no, 50 times point. So 25 um, point zero milliliters. Yeah. Okay. Briefly describe the procedure, procedure the students should follow to make 50 milliliters of uh, 0.5 molar copper 2 sulfate using the uh, 0.1 molar copper 2 sulfate. Uh, a 50 milliliters, uh, 50 milliliter volume metric flask can understand the lab equipment. Assume that all appropriate safety precautions will be taken. So the key points that you want to mention would be, first, you would put in the 25 milliliters of the uh, solution into the volumetric flask. You transfer that, and then you will fill, you will fill up, uh, you will fill the volumetric flask half full, allow some swirling to occur. You wanna mix them. And then you would gradually add more water and you would add water into uh, all the way to the, to the mark on the neck of the uh, volume metric flask. And then you would cap it and then you would, uh, you would uh, flip it upside down for a couple more times to ensure equal mixing. So that's something you wanna make sure to uh, mention. The absorbance of the carbon two sulfate solution of unknown concentration is 0.214. Determine the molarity of the solution to 0.214. This is point. So 0.214 would be something like this. So anywhere that's around 0.03. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 0.03635. Um, that would be fine. Okay, and then a second student performs the same experiment. There are a few. Uh, there are a few drops of water in the cuvette before the student. Uh, before the second student adds the cover to sulfate solution of unknown concentration, will this result in a copper two sulfate concentration for the unknown that is greater, less than, or equal to the concentration determined? In part F, it will be. Why? If you have water in the cuvette already, it's more diluted. So it uh, leads to a, a smaller concentration. Now, it doesn't actually talk anything about the absorbance. It only asks you, will, the, will this result in a copper two sulfate concentration for the unknown that's greater, less than, or equal to the concentration determined in part F? It has to be less than. It is diluted. Yeah. When would it be greater than? Uh, or you put it in grease? Or How is you touching the oil blocks the light from going through? Exactly. So how is it? The way it looks like this, how much is blocked by the light? They say like, oh, that must be a lot. Even this much is blocked by the light. But if you have grease, that's making more stuff seem like it's blocked by the light than it actually is. Yeah, it seems like there's more, so it seems like it's more solute in the solution that blocks the light from going through. It's just your finger oil. Yeah. Ew. So that's how it 
mess up the other uh, reading. Okay. So, uh, so if you uh, use, if you do put it into the uh, spectrophotometer, that would also lead to a lower absorbance reading. Okay.